What's up, everybody? We got Jesse. Chip Brennan, sinker guy. Sinker guy. We're out here at uh, Amelia Island. Conditions today is a little overcast, a little bit of rain showers early on, but uh, target today is probably black drum, sheep's head possibly. So, uh, redfish. yeah, hopefully some redfish, man. But what are you throwing? Uh, crab knuckles and shrimp uh, with the option of uh, checking on sand fleas and, and clams right now. Yep. Then I'm throwing uh, fresh dead shrimp and a bunch of different kind of uh, fish bites. A couple black drum have been caught so far, but we're kind of just getting nice. started out here and the sun's starting to come up. So we'll see how it goes. It's gonna be beautiful. Enjoy, watch. What was that on? Crab knuckle. Hey. Crab knuckle. I've got a bunch of them. Yeah. I think we moved down around the corner. No, yeah, that's hot. That's a keeper right there. Yeah, that's Woo! a keeper. <laughs> Look at that. Crab knuckle. Crab knuckle. They love it. Right at keeper, baby. Look at that beauty. Oh, it's beauty. Nice. Beautiful. 26 three quarter. Dude, he's got a ton of spots too. Yeah, he's a beautiful fish. Down or what? Yes. Now it's your turn, bro. Awesome. <laughs> All right, so Chip just caught that uh, it's 26 and three quarter, we yep. said, uh, redfish. The bait that we're using is crab knuckles. And this is something I didn't know how to do until I started fishing with Chip, man. So check this out, man. Pretty easy. Just gonna uh, grab the crab by the back here. We're just gonna flip him over and cut off his claw so he doesn't get you. And that that's number one. And then what we're gonna do is just cut off right at, at the bottom knuckle there. Cause that's where your hook's gonna go through inevitably. So. We're gonna just peel that shield up, cut that off. The easiest way to do it is to, is to put your scissors in, move it around, trap the whole thing. Now these are sharp, so stay out of that. Trap it, and just like you do if you're gonna eat them. Huh. Pretty easy, throw that for the old chum. The lungs we're not gonna use, so we're just gonna cut those off. Chum those too. That little tail piece there, cut that off. There we are. And now, now you've got the whole crab. I just cut right down the middle. Now if you wanna get another good bait for big, um, big redfish, it's just a half, half or a quarter, quarter crab. Yeah. But I, I like to be able to get it where they can eat it. Uh, I think it's ad adequate enough is the little knuckle. So there's little lines and just cut down the lines makes it easy. Uh, sometimes this end piece is a little, you just don't know what to do with it. I usually just cut right through it. If you can get five pieces out. I usually just figure out that I'm going to have four, uh, eight or 10 pieces, depending on how many pieces you need. So you can see the little line, line, line. Yep. So right there, I'm going to cut this one off because I want to keep the crab meat in there. I don't need the big shell. It's usually pretty easy to get through there. Boom. Pretty simple. Now we, we have we have eight baits, um, and so plenty. And that looks like some uh, looks good to eat. Uh, redfish, pompano can get them in their mouth. Catch. And uh, these work really good because they stay on the hook so well, man. Let's put one on a hook. Yeah. Let me put one on here just. I like fishing them bare, but uh, we have fish bites on here also. But how this is gonna work is there's gonna be a soft side and a hard side. So you're just gonna go right through where I already cut it off pretty efficiently. And so you'll cut that off if you can't get your hook and then just work your hook uh, through it. And it's right there. And that's gonna just sit in there kind of hidden. Yep. Uh, so then that fish doesn't see it. And, and it stays boom. on the hook and the meat is right there presented. Presented perfectly to then so, you can float it if you need to, uh, but it's got a lot of action, so. Yeah. 
But there you go, man. That's a pro tip for you. Uh, just so you guys know, man, Chip is starting a YouTube channel also. So I genuinely think he's the best surf fisherman in our local area. So if you want to learn how to surf fish, man, definitely subscribe to his YouTube channel. When he gets it up and running, I'll put a link down in the description of this video. That way you can find it. So uh, if you like my stuff, you'll definitely like his, man. Subscribe to his channel. Oh! We're on, boy! Yeah, they're right there in that ledge. Yep. A lot of head shakes on this guy. Puppy drum. On this side. Okay. Just short. No. Yeah, he's like an inch and a half under. They're pretty like they're like one of my favorites to catch. Yeah, they're cute. Nice. Bro, instant. That's crab. Dang, dude, he got it immediately. Yeah, that's a bigger fish. Yeah, right in front of it. Dang, this guy's fighting. Red. That's a redfish. Yep. He's 18 and a half, man. Yeah, I'm gonna let him go though. So this is a legal fish and he sure is pretty and he would make a good uh, black and red fish, but you don't gotta keep every one that you catch, man. Oh yeah, big fish, bigger fish, this is a big reel. <laughs> I think I won. Dang. I got a mess though. Doubled up on red and black drum. That was a first for me. Release this guy. Go buddy. Wrong way! There he goes. Woo! Oh, bro. Nice sheep head. 
Dang, dude, that's a really good one. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, that boy. What up, Pete, man? <laughs> Woo! That's pretty. Dang, bro. What he eat? Crab knuckle. That's crazy. Crab knuckle. Look at them teeth, bro. That's a big one. Yeah, that's good. Wow. Wife's favorite fish to eat. Yeah. She's gonna love this one. Nice, dude. Let's get more lines back out. That's a nice one. All right, dude. Your mood has changed. <laughs> She's on now. <laughs> What's going on? All right, dudes, we're gonna wrap it up, man. Thanks to Chip, always fun fishing with him. Uh, kind of how the day went down, uh, you can learn a little lesson from this trip from us. Uh, we came out here first thing in the morning to this rock pile and the tide was way too high, so we couldn't reach it. Uh, was nobody, I mean, there's a couple black drum, like little tiny ones caught very first thing at like first light, but it wasn't very good. So we went down to the sound and fished off the point to see if we could catch anything. Chip caught a really nice red. Uh, and then the tide went all the way out over there and we were like, well, now we can probably reach that spot. So we came back over here. We were within casting distance and uh, everybody caught legal fish after that. Uh, Chip taught us how to use crab knuckles pretty awesome technique that I didn't know until he showed me. Uh, Chip is starting a YouTube channel, so subscribe to his channel if you want to learn stuff like that. That's one of many things that he knows how to do. Uh, but yeah, man, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see you guys next time.